Good day everyone, I'm Sir RG Lason, your math tutor and guide on this exciting journey through the world of numbers. In this video, we will discuss all about measures of central location of ungrouped data part 1, the mean. So before we proceed to our main lesson, let's have an activity first. Which group is smarter? So we have class A, uh, scores of the IQ, uh, class A, scores of the IQ students. Of 13 students, we have 102, 128, 131, 98, 140, 93, 110, 115, 109, 89, 106, 119, 97. And in class B scores of I of their IQs of 13 students, we have 127, 131, 96, 80, 93, 120, 109, 162, 103, 111, 109, 87, 105. So we usually, no? Look at the lowest score and the highest score of the group, no, so that we can identify. Uh, that group is much smarter because this group has the highest, uh, no, highest uh, score or the highest uh, scores in IQ. In class A, the, the lowest score is 89, while in class B, we have 80. So in the highest score also, in class A, we have 140 in class A, while in class B, we have 162. Now, when you look at the scores, no, no, we, we usually tend to say that in the, the class B is much smarter than class A because the highest, uh, the highest score of the class B is 162. But when we look at the average of the uh, average IQ of every class, in class A, we have the average score or the average IQ, we had 110.54, while in class B, the average IQ is 110.23. So that means group A or the class A is much is much smarter than class B. They're roughly the same, right? So 100 they're both in 110 uh, in decimals lang sila nagkalahi. Uh, with a summary of descriptive statistics, it is much easier to answer our questions. So what are the disc, uh, samples or different types of descriptive uh, no, analysis? No, the, the, common, uh, the common, commonly used uh, descriptive analysis is measures of central location. So what do you mean by measures of central location? It represents the values where the data observation tend to concentrate or cluster. In other words, these measures help us to represent the entire mass of the given data by a sing single value. So we, wish, you, we usually use the measures, measures of central location. So we have, for example, we do have a group of data and then we tend to rep, uh, we are going to find to represent of the given data into one value, right? So there are, uh, ways to uh, identify the measures of central location. We have the mean, which is the average, the median, the middle score, and the mode is the most frequent or occurring value. So you need to remember these three measures of central location. The mean is the average, the median, the middle score, and the mode is the most frequent occurring value. So let's focus on here in the mean first, or the average. When you say the mean, we just need to add all of the values of the data set, set and dividing the sum of the numbers of values. Always exist for quantitative or numerical data or at least an interval measure level of measurement. So uh, since we have what you mean by quantitative, so values, numbers, no? So all you need to do in finding the mean, you just need to add the data set and dividing the number of values, the sum of the number of values of your given data. So let's have an example. Uh, before we proceed, no, let us discuss what is population and what is sample. So when you say population is the entire set of the items from which draw of the data statistics study. It, uh, it can be a group of individuals, a set of items, etc. It can make up to the data pool of, for a study. Generally, Population refers to the people who live a particular area at a specific time. But in statistics, population refer to the data on your study interest. So which group? No, It can be a group of individuals, objects, events, organization. You can use population to draw conclusions. So an example for a population would be the entire body of 
body of school the entire what you mean by it would be the entire student body at a school so entire student body for example whole students all of the students in MMACI so all students is your population in MMACI it would contain all the students would study in the school at the time of data collection depending on the problem statement so data can uh, from each of the student can be collected an example of that is students who speak hindi among the students of a school so for example no so how many of them are students who speak ano uh, hindi among the students or for example how many students uh, who speak Surigaonon among the students of a school. So that is an example of your population. While in the sample, is a sample is defined as a smaller or manageable representation of a larger group. It is a subset of the larger population that contains characteristic of the population. A sample is used in statistical testing when the population size is too large for all members or observation excluded in the test. For example, no, uh, if for example, you just need, you don't need to get all the data of the students in MMACI. We can uh, we can get a, a sample, for example, 20% of the student body or 50% of the student no, in, the, in the school. The sample is unbiased subset of the population that best represents the whole data. To overcome that restraint of the population, you can sometimes collect the data from the subset of the population and then consider it to the general norm. So, pwedeng pwede na, you can get a sample. Instead of getting all the data in the population, you can get a sample out of that population. You collect the subset of information from the group who has taken part of the study, study making the data rea reliable. So, the results obtained of the, of the different groups who took part of the study can be explored in the generalization of the population. So, this is example, no? The whole population, for example, the whole... Are the students of NMA, MMACI so we can get a sample so the sample would be uh, students from uh, 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 students from marine ano, a college of maritime so for example that is your sample or your whole population you can get the sample second year students and MMACI all second year students of MMACI so that is the sample out of the population of all the students in MMACI. So let us define, since we discuss what is population and sample, no? So, uh, uh, again, population is the whole or the entire uh, data set of the given problem. And then the sample, you can get the sample out of the population. So we have here two different uh, no, types of mean for population and mean for sample. So if the values of the data set, no, x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, or your first term, your second term, and your third term, and so on until your last term, is the population of n numbers, then the mean of the population is, so this is the symbol for your mean of your population equals so in the mean no you just need to add the day all the data set over the total number of your uh, data set so this is uh, the formula on how to find the mean of the population while in the mean of the sample so your formula here is so this is the uh, the symbol for the mean of the population equals to add the data sets over n so n is the total number of elements no so uh in the population your denominator will be the hook n capital letter n and then the mean of the sample is uh kining gamay na letter n or smaller a uh, small letter n no so this uh, again in the population mean of the population this is the symbol mean of the sample is this is the symbol so it's the same way lang class to identify the mean of the given population in sample. They just uh, different in uh, no, signs or symbol of your uh, no, representation of your given data set. So consider the following students of the following monthly salaries of employees of CSU. So we have here 10K, 11K, 11K, 15K, 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 19K, 20k, 21k, 21k, 22k, 22k, 24k, 25k. 
assume that is this is a population calculate the average of the salary of the 14 employees of CSU so it it stated in the problem that this is a population so we're going to use no we had the mean of the population is equals to x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus x sub 3 and so on until your last term over the total number of your elements which is your n so we have here no add all the data set over 14 why is it 14 because the number of data set given is 14 tanan class so that means your n is 14 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 so we have here the total uh, value of your numerator is 251k divided by 14 so that means we have 17.9k. So that means the mean of the population of the 14 employees of CSU is 17.9k. So example number two, in a survey of 10 households, the number of children was found to be 455436216241. Calculate the mean of the uh, to, number of the children per household. So, it's stated here that this is a mean of the population since in the survey of 10 households, man. So, uh, your population is the 10 households. So, we have here the mean of the population is equals to add the given data sets. All the given data sets, we have 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, plus 6, plus 2, plus 6, plus 4, plus 1, over 10, which is the uh, total number of your data set is 10. So we have 40 divided 10, so your mean of the population is 4. Hence, the average number of children per household is 4. So next, the Roycey gas station owner records to be the number of vehicles who visits his premises for 12 days. The number are 304, 279, 314, 257, 302, 233, 249, 210, 289, 302, 209, 290. Find the mean of the number of vehicles per day. So this is also a mean of population since it's stated in the problem. It just ano, covered the 12 days. So all the data sets are given man in 12 days. So we have here the mean of the population. You just need to add all the given data set divided by 12 since all of the data set is equals uh, is the number of total uh, the total number of data set is 12 so next we have the sum for the numerator is 3000 to 228 divided by 12 so that means your mean of your population is 269 hence the average number of vehicles per day is 269 next 6 uh, six students are randomly selected in statistics class of 20 students receive test grades. So 92, 84, 65, 76, 88, 90. So it's stated here, no, a ran six students are randomly selected out of 20 students. So that is the sample, say, a class, mean of the sample. So we have here the symbol uh the mean of the sample is equal to 92 plus 84 plus 65 plus 76 plus 88 plus 90 over the total number of data set no which is randomly selected is six so you will use six since the data uh, uh the number of data is six no so we have here 495 divide six so that means the total uh the mean of the sample is 82.50 so that hence the average grade of six selected students is 82.50. Uh, nine students are randomly selected in the Katle uh, section Katleya. Obtain the following scores in math quiz. We have 2, 4, 6, 5, 10, 8, 9, 7, 8. What is the mean of the scores of the students? So this is also a mean of the sample since uh, a randomly selected man siya by 9 students. So, in the mean of the sample, just need to add the given data set. So, we have 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 5 plus 10 plus 8 plus 9 plus 7 plus 8 divided by 9 since 9, um, the number of datas are 9 man. So, we have 115, uh, 59 divided 9. So, we have 
the mean of the population or the mean of the sample rather is 6.56. Hence, the average score of 9 selected students or the uh, the average score of Katleya, section Katleya is 6.56. Now here in this example no it uh gi ada nila og another what do you call that uh a monthly salary of C sibling we have here the monthly salary of C sibling that is 695 billion so when you find the mean of this no when you add 615 uh, billion divided by 15 so we have the mean 46.3 million now, what is the implication for this one? The mean, the advantage of the mean, advantages of the mean is takes into account all the available information. You can add all the information class. Depending, it depends on you if it's sample or population. Or it depends on the problem rather. So, take into account all the available information. Can be combined with means of the other groups to the given overall of the means. So, for example, you will add the uh, the group of CME group, CREAM group, uh, IS group, and then BP Ed group. All of their data, you can add them all to find the mean. While in this disadvantages class, uh, very, very sensitive ang measures niya can only be used into interval or ratio data so must be you no know, when you uh, look at this example you no know, it's nonsense to say that the monthly salary uh, adding c siblings 695 billion you no know, the mean is does not represent actually the given group you no know, since the value of this last uh, data of the c sibling is 695 billion Masyadong malayo yung mga yung value ng kanyang data set compared to other datas. So this mean no the income in the Philippines all of us so this is the mean and then nata diritanan class no common people no and the C siblings outlier is here. So that means we can say that the advantages for this is very sensitive ang measures niya. Only can be used into interval or ratio na data. So must be Categorize dapat ang imong data set into interval and ratios data. Dili kay, uh, uh, ana, uh, the value is kuan far from the other values na. So that's all for the mean, no? The measures of central location of the mean. So I hope that you've learned something out of this lesson. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and share it with your classmates. That's all for today, everyone. Goodbye.